Hello. Okay. I didn't set up my mic beforehand, but <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. I have part of my voice back. <laughs> I haven't been able to really stream much recently because my voice was gone, but it's, uh, it's mostly back to where I don't feel like I'm like really hurting it by talking too much, but yeah. So uh, there's these new, well, I don't know if I should wait till like people are here, but there's these new scenarios that I wanted to look at. The cookout one is still here. I mean, <clears throat> I haven't like actually done it, but I like sort of did it for a video. Mm. <coughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of scenarios. Um, it actually, I feel like there's, I guess some, oh. I should probably silence my face. <coughs> I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm like clear, still gonna be clearing my throat and coughing a lot, which is not great for the audio. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on. Okay, hopefully I can minimize the um, throat clearing and coughing and stuff. So, there's a recent update. We got some new Sims scenarios. Um, and I figured I'd check some of them out. These are different though. So these other ones, I really hate this UI. It's so annoying. Um, these other ones, if you click play now, it'll let you choose a new or existing household or you can do like in a new save. Um, but these, there's already a household that exists. I really, I wish I could mouse over them, but you know, I'll just, okay. Let me just try to keep my mouse. Let's just keep my mouse over here. Um, but these, um, ha they come with households. So we have stuck in their shadow, uh, Roared high flyer trait. I'm wondering if that that might be a new one. I wonder if expired explorer is also a new one. Um, Nova Curious was one of the best programmers in college, and nothing will stop her from shining in a new job. Well, someone might. Lewis, top programmer in her class who overshadowed her during their uni years. Now that she wants to start her professional life, there's no way she'll bump into him again, right? This kind of seems like a enemies to lovers thing. Yeah, enemies. <laughs> so. There's a few story endings. Mm -hmm. This is... Okay. <laughs> There's quitting the rat race, keep your enemies closer, the underdog wins, enemies to lovers, and dream chaser. Um, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, like, super interested in playing it. Is the first time they have scenarios with pre-made sims assigned to them? Yes, it is. Uh, as far as I know... They, I don't know, the stuck in their shadow one, it feels like, like there's an un, unaddressed element of like sexism in here. Like we're talking about like women in tech, right? Like as a programmer and now it's like there's this guy, like, I don't know. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> there's that whole dynamic there. Um... And then there's New in Town with the Nouvelle household. So this one is Farah Nouvelle. This one is Nova Curious. I mean, they're cool names, at least. Um, they're all very... They all feel very, like, Aloe Sishet. Sorry to say. <laughs> like, this one is like, will this man and woman fall in love in their career? And this one is like, you know, husband and wife and their two kids. And then this one is like... Um, you don't, it doesn't have to be about love, but one of the story endings is love at first sight. I don't know. It's, mm, mm. <laughs> Might be a true story for one of the programmers at EA, honestly. 
When I heard, heard Nova Curious, I thought it was going to be a callback to the Curious family from The Sims 2. Oh, what was the Curious family from The Sims 2? That, honestly, that would be that would be a really interesting thing to do for scenarios, to like make some families from previous games. I think people would love that. <laughs> to like, and sort of like play through, because I, from what I understand, in some of the earlier Sims games, there was like more to play through, you know what I mean? Like there were storylines to play through. So that'd be, this would be a cool way of introducing them. Three brothers with one of them pregnant with aliens. Oh my gosh, see that sounds, I don't know, that sounds like it might be uh, more interesting. Honest, oh, that, I guess, do you have to have get to work to be pregnant with aliens? <laughs> I think you might, but like that would be a cool scenario where it's like, you're the Sim is pregnant and it turns out they're pregnant with like an alien baby. <laughs> That, or like raising all the different occult types of babies. I don't know. I, I guess they would try to make scenarios base games. That would be hard. But I do think there should be, they should play with some of that a little bit more. That would be cool. Hi, Calmly Enveloped. <laughs> Welcome. Um, but yeah, Nouvelle, new in town. Um, moving to a new place can be scary, especially if you don't know anyone there. But it can also be a great adventure. Help Farah. I don't know if it's Farah or Farah. If it was one R, I would think it was Farah, but maybe it's Farah. Um, explore her new home, make some friends, and throw a moving in party that will be the talk of the town. So there's like moving in party. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> parenting predicaments, play with the Martinez household. Two happy-go-lucky young parents are at a loss for what to do with their rambunctious, unruly children. Can they cultivate the right environment for their children to thrive and support their children towards becoming teenagers on the right track? So, I don't know. If y'all have any preferences for which one I should play, um, <laughs> if y'all have any, any preference for which one I should play, let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to get at least one done, but I might, you know, depending on how fast they are, I might go through a few suspiciously my favorite sims 2 character to play as was the impreg one not foreshadowing to being trans at all <laughs> i love that and that yeah that's mm, i just okay like i get it i think but i do like i wonder if they're gonna add you know more of these pre-made sims if any of them will ever be queer in any way you know, I just, I wonder, I wonder, anyways, because <laughs> these are all very much like, like this one could be, um, the one with Farah, but like, you hate that phrasing, rambunctious and unruly children. Yeah, that's partly why I don't really want to do this one. The family seems cool, um, uh, but yeah, you can, wait, the story endings are, Raised responsible teenagers, raised wild teenagers, Leonardo overachieves, Sophia slacks off, Sophia overachieves, Leonardo slacks off. Yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling they'll, they must, they'll probably have some traits that are, like, hard to deal with. That's why the reward is a retraining potion, which, that does seem kind of, like, I understand that they're sims, you know, like, they're, they're not, like, really alive, but, like, that sounds kind of shitty. <laughs> like, you're like, we have to raise our kids well enough that we can change their entire personalities? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, what? That That's a little sketchy, honestly. That's a little um, upsetting. Hmm. We need a messy gay scenario. <laughs> yeah. Open to see you do any of the scenarios. I'm also working, so we'll probably be in and out. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't... That's better that there are the options. Oh, BRB, okay. I think I'm going to do the new in town just because it's like the least obviously like cishet. Um, so I might try this one. I don't know. We'll see. These do not seem like they'll be long. But as I've mentioned before, scenarios are not good at telling you what they're going to involve from this like starting screen. So who knows? Who knows what we'll be doing? Um, but I'll do the new in town one. We'll just see. And it's going to take me straight into create a sim. Oh, no, not even to create a sim. Okay. So here's far. I think it's far. It's probably far, right? I, I don't know. Um, you saw my other video where I called out the reward for BFF was a flirty potion. So why are the potion rewards just consistently sketchy? Yeah, exactly. Like, best friends forever. But then they're like, now you're a teen. It should be turned into something more. Like, well, well what if I just want to be best friends? Like, chill out. <laughs> like, you didn't say anything about this. Like, I just want to have a best friend. Like, God. It's just, it's kind of weird. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. 
I like I want more unique um stuff, but I okay, wait. So this one is about being new in town. It might be fun to do, I don't know. Do we want to do Strangerville or Moonwood Mill? Cuz I feel like, you know, the whole thing is about like being new in town. I think it'd be fun to go somewhere where like, you know, things are things maybe aren't quite what they seem. Um, I kind of I kind of want to do Moonwood Mill. Um, yeah, now kiss exactly. Like, um, no, I just wanted a friend actually. I don't know. Um, I think I'll try Moonwood Mill, I guess. We'll see. Um, that could be fun. We can move into New Moon Shack. Because, like, yeah, it just says we're new in town. Um, okay. Cool. I don't even know what this sim's, like, traits are or anything. I forget how, like, kind of, wait. Is she wearing, oh, I think they're just short jeans. I was like, that does not, that looks like boxers or something. <laughs> Is she wearing pants? Please stop forcing romantic sexual relationships on characters. Please media. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I'm doing this one. Because it doesn't force that. Although one of the options is love at first sight. So. Um, yes. Yeah, so we're moving to a new place. Explore a new home. Make some friends. Start a new moving in party. So here's some potential outcomes. There's a bonus from it. I don't know what that is. Inspired explorer trait. Alright. So. Here we are. Why is it? Oh. Because it's play. Oh my god. I. Why is it, it's playing in a, in a save I already had. I do not like that at all. So, like, by default now, scenarios will go into your last save. What if you have something specific you're doing with the story? Like, what if you don't want time? What if one of your sims is, like, in university, and now you're in the save, and their whole university is messed up? That is so bad so like there's not even an option for these scenarios you're just in an already existing save i don't think i had like much going oh yeah this <laughs> this is the save where i was trying to get the um thumbnail for my last youtube video where my sims were getting abducted by aliens so that's why it's like 1 a.m because i finally got abducted by aliens um so luckily it's not anything like the story isn't too important in the save but that's so annoying that they just automatically put it in your last save. What if you don't want that save messed up? Oh, I hate that. Ugh. I'm so, so angry they didn't make Jughead Ace in Riverdale. Like, he's in the comments. Yeah. That is really... Fr like, come on. Like, we had an Ace character. Like, come on. All right. What, what am I... What am I even doing here? Um, I, I feel like you should just go ahead and sleep. Because, like, it's 1 a.m. Um, so, let's look at... Let's look at our sim. So, Farah Nouvelle is active outgoing and art lover all right it's a little bit boring but that's fine <laughs> um likes blues and pop music fitness and painting and likes blue pink and purple i'm getting a call already oh hi lily oh that's sweet lily called me to welcome me to the neighborhood i mean it's like 1 a.m how do you know i moved in that's kind of creepy oh look she also has a bonnet that's cool i like that um, there's, like, a, a, a sim that canonically wears a bonnet while she sleeps. Wow. Um, I love Bojack Horseman, but also why is the best ace rep I've ever seen from a show about a cartoon horse? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've thought about watching that show because I've heard the ace rep is really good. Um, but I'm also, like, I just have a hard time getting into shows. I, I mostly watch YouTube, honestly, because I can just, like, I don't know, it doesn't feel as much of a commitment. Wait. Oh, I already completed this. Buy some decor. Wait, is this all? When I finish this, is it going to be done or is there a new part of the scenario? Because they're... Introduce yourself to someone. So introduce yourself to five people. Buy a microphone or instrument. Buy some decor. And these are optional. I really hope there's going to be more after that. Because, like, if there's different sections, that would be cool. But if not, like, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Um, we also, our job is, like, as an, what is, electrified artists. So, oh, okay. So I'll need something to do art with, I guess. No, okay, that one's interesting. No cops. <laughs> She's always watching as to why she knows you moved in, yeah. Uh, I mean, it is, they are werewolves. They're probably up at night. I don't know. Um, here, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, what skills do we have? Cooking two, painting three. All right. All right. Anyways, let's sleep till morning. Maybe we'll get our welcome um, neighborhood. What is, what's it called? I forget what it's called. The welcome committee thing. Um, we need something to do art with, though. So. 
Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Well, that's... All right. Oh, and we're very hungry. All right, well, why don't you go cook? Um, there are some gnomes in the kitchen, but just ignore those. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just make eggs and toast. It's, it's morning, right? Alright. Um, and yeah, I feel like I need to buy, uh, easel. And then the thing was also talking about buying an instrument. I don't know why. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Like, there's nothing saying that the sim was musical, but okay. Um... Build mode wouldn't lag, that'd be nice. Alright. Um, can you just get an easel? I just want it, I just want it in the corner. Move objects. I swear, I'm so annoyed. This, hold on, let me put this down. I'm so annoyed. This thing won't stop flashing, and I don't know why. Like, I've clicked everything, and it won't go away. Like, please leave me alone. <laughs> It just keeps flashing and it was doing that all while I was recording like a speed build like I've clicked I'm clicking everything I'm clicking it all I'm clicking everything look I'm looking through everything and then it's still doing <laughs> Why are you why are you flashing? Oh, I, I feel like it's been happening more recently where things just like flash forever and don't stop like Please stop. I'm I'm honestly I'm begging you like I've seen I, I know I'm aware I've seen everything. What do you what do you want from me? <laughs> Like, legitimately, what do you want from me? Uh, oh, yeah, welcome, Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, like, I... What What do you want? Why are you flashing? Okay. <laughs> um, I'll give you a, um, a microphone, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 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 here, there's a microphone in the hallway. Okay. So we did that, the optional thing. And now you have something to do a job with. Did you cook? Oh, we just stopped cooking. All right. But no, wait, no. Okay, you're serving now. Good. Yeah, we've got these gnomes sitting in the kitchen. No big deal. I did want to, like, look through all this character's, like, outfits. But I guess I'll have to go into create a sim for that. At least they gave her a bonnet for sleepwear. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, if this, if this scenario ends with the welcome wagon, I'm going to be like, are you for real? <laughs> what? How long is it taking you to make the eggs and toast? All right, come on, let's go. All right, there we go. We got some food. There's not really anything else to do until like people show up. I don't actually know, like, I don't remember, like, I don't know what... Do they not show up on a holiday? Because it's like a event? I don't know. Like, sometimes they show up right away and sometimes they don't. I don't really know what determines it. They don't... They don't seem to show up when you don't have a house. I don't know. Wait. Oh, wait. You have a computer? Wait. Oh, that's cool at least. Okay. So they gave... The, my sim came with a computer... And a tablet. A, a sketch pad. Okay, I like that. Because, I mean, it makes sense for her job. Like, you need it for your job. So, that's cool, at least. Um, so can we do our, like, freelancer portrait? Okay. Oh, I was gonna have you go to the bathroom, but that's fine. <laughs> can you not get into the bathroom? I don't know. Alright, we'll do our portrait for a dead relative or whatever. Portrait of a deceased relative. Yeah, we'll just do that. Might as well. Um... You're thinking they might not show up because of Harvest Fest? Yeah, I feel like that might be it. Man, but I wanted to meet... I don't want to have to, like, go out and meet people. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't want to meet a celebrity. Come on, now. Let's see. I mean, maybe the werewolves will all be, like, hanging out around somewhere. I mean, there's one. Oh, wait. That's not even... That's Dominic. For, wait, who's this? Oh, it's a, is that a cat or a dog? Um... I guess we can just try to meet. We can always, like, go to, like, the library or something. Oh, there's some more of the werewolves. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I wanted to wait for the welcome wagon, but that's fine. We'll just go meet them. Oh, I was supposed to study reference images on computer. Okay. Well, at least they did give me the stuff I would need for my job. I like that, at least. 
Because that would be really annoying if you didn't have the <laughs> sketch pad or the computer for the job. That would be cool to have, like, some sort of scenario where they had a bunch of stuff in, like, their household inventory that you had, like, that you could build a house with. I don't know. <laughs> like, you're moving out of, ooh, like, a, uh, someone moving out of their parents' house or something, and they're, like, in a new apartment, and you have to, like, put all their stuff down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just coming up with all these different scenario ideas. A lot of them don't work, though, with the base game. Hmm. I mean, should we try to appease the gnomes? I don't really care that much. I'm just, I'm not invested in this storyline yet. That's the problem with scenarios is like, I don't really care. You know? All right, what else do we have to do for the job? Get portrait approved. Okay. Wait, how do I do that? Is it on the sketch pad? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Well, that's certainly a portrait. Okay, that's all I meant to do. Um... I mean, it's not, like, bad, I guess. It's, uh, alright. Um, send a client for approval. I have a feeling they might not approve. It's, like, the first painting I've ever made. I'm, oh, did, I guess they approved it. Okay, well, alright then, and now I'm on the right to fame. Okay. Uh, they, the client began to openly weep on receipt of the portrait. Fair created such a lifelike rendering of their recently departed love. <laughs> okay. Cool, and they got a nice bonus, too. All right. Uh, okay, let's go meet people. I mean, that's, like, the whole point, right? We're new in town. We've done a gig. Let's go meet our neighbors and stuff. Um, anybody? Oh, here's some people. Oh, here's Lily. Lily called us last night. Let's go do a friendly introduction. We'll also meet Wolfgang. Um, what is over here? Oh, Potato. We could also plant some stuff. There's also a dog we could meet. I wonder if the dog counts. Oh, that's a cute dog. I kind of want to adopt this dog now. Look at it. <laughs> Mochi. Oh my god, you're so cute. Hello. I'm going to meet you too. Would I want to chat with someone and go for a jog? Yeah. Figures. Alright. Are we going to talk to Lily? I think so. It was good you changed out of your sleepwear to come over here. All right, all right, all right, I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we met someone. Oh, wait, what? Wait, that wasn't there before. Okay, that's weird. It only showed up when I introduced myself. To... Okay, <laughs> so now optional, get to know someone and socialize with someone ten times. I mean, okay. Wait, where's the dog? I want to meet the dog. Oh, we're meeting the dog. Good. Does the dog count as introducing myself to someone? It does count as socializing, apparently. Let's get to know the dog. Does getting to know the dog count? Can all my friends just be dogs? I want to ask what's wrong, but I probably can't really help because, like, you're a stray. Oh, you want, like, pets? I can, I can do pets. Wait, can I do pets? We can play. Alright, Lily, I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Mochi is friendly. Did it, I don't know if I've done the get to know thing yet. I mean, I guess I could get to know Jacob too. But I, can we talk to the dog? Hey, why are you yelling at the dog? Stop it. What are you doing? Oh, no, did you just tell the dog to go away? Wait, do you have a job? Where are you going? <laughs> no, wait. No. Come here. No. No, wait. No. Um. Um, no, stay here. Please don't leave. I'm sorry Christopher was mean to you. Here you go. Okay. Um, how do we get to know? Get to know. I want to see if it works. So far today I've talked about politics twice. Once with somebody with views similar to mine and one time it was an ANCAP. How are y'all's days going? Um, I haven't been up for very long, but I had some food, so that was nice. And I have a, I have a panel I'm going to be on later today, um, so that'll be interesting. So I, I, I figured I would do the scenarios because it probably wouldn't take like 
a ton of time uh, to do. <laughs> and I think I'm correct, although, I don't know, maybe more stuff will keep popping up. Oh, Mochi is a troublemaker, apparently. Um, it has come to socializing with someone, but not as getting to know, I think. Um, pet. Oh, no. Can I, like, when can I, when can I adopt you? Because I want to do that. <laughs> we just became friends. Okay. Adopt. There you go. Alright, I'm going to have a dog now. I know that wasn't part of the scenario, but there you go. Um, and I've already done a lot of my socializing. Wait, I've only introduced myself to one person? Oh, I guess I never actually introduced myself to these two. I was too focused on the dog. That's fair enough. Alright, let's just fast forward. Yeah, we're socializing with our dog. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright. Now we have adopted you. Mochi, you don't need a last name. That's okay. Yay. Okay, Mochi seems happy for now. Oh, look, there's feathers over here. Wait, I want that. I want to open the feathers. And then I should actually go meet people. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Um, friendly introduction to Christopher, even though he just tried to scare off my dog. That's okay. Get to know- I don't know, for some reason- hmm. For some reason, the get to know thing hasn't been showing up for me recently, but I'll try it. Oh, you'll be throw- oh. Well, that's interesting. He said, hey, you'll be throwing a housewarming party, right? Here's my number. I'll be waiting for my invite. Is that part of the scenario? Maybe. Maybe that's what I'll have to do is throw a party. Um, where is get to know? See, I can never find it anymore. Is it some, is there a new thing? Hold on. No. Werewolf pack. Right. <laughs> um... Oh, maybe it's under likes and dislikes. It, it, see, that's confusing. Okay, it's under likes and dislikes now. All right, that is good to know. All right, so let's do that. And then we need to meet Jacob. All right, come on. Let's do the get to know stuff. There we go. All right, we've done that once. And then I also need to... Oh, okay. Can I get to know Wolfgang? Sunder likes... Okay, so that's... All right. So likes and dislikes. That's important to know. Likes and dislikes is here with all the other stuff I normally ignore. <laughs> um, did I ever... Okay, I can get to know Lily, too. Um, like to dislike, get to know. I don't know why it says I've only introduced myself to two people. Because, like, I know four people, so I don't really know how that works, but... Wait, no, Lily, don't go. I want to get to know you. Hmm. Nope, she's gone. Okay, cool. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, alright, I need to meet new people then. Oh, what if I invite people from, like, both packs, you know? Like, oh, it's very, like, laggy. What if I invite people from both packs and <laughs> at my housewarming party and there would be a little bit of a conflict, maybe? I don't feel like walking over here, so I'm gonna teleport. Hi, Rory. Hello, do you want to come to my housewarming party? Awesome. I can also invite Simeon. Who's a, oh, oh, I thought that was a dog. It was a plastic bag. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating through the wind, wanting to start again? <laughs> Alright. We learned that Rory is hot-headed. Great. Um, I will also get to know Lou Howell. I, I could introduce myself to this random Sim, but I do think it would be fun to have like a spellcaster there with Simeon. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, what? Wait, did I just get a fear? Why did I get a f What am I afraid of? Oh, from the werewolves. Okay. Wait, who's rampaging? They don't seem like they're rampaging. 
Oh. Oh, was Lou mean to me? Oh my gosh. I was trying to introduce myself to Lou and he just like was mean. Wow. Dang. Okay. Um, what new fear did I get? I got fear of the dark. I wish there was like, I don't know. I think it'd be cool if there was like a fear of werewolves or something, you know? Um, I feel like a lot of the fears are very generic and don't make much sense. All right, we need to introduce ourselves to one more sim. And apparently didn't work with Lou. Um, oh, can I not? I can't introduce myself to you. Dang it. I gotta find someone else to introduce myself to. We're all freaking out because apparently Lou's in a rampage, but. <laughs> um, here's some mushrooms. Anybody? Anybody else around? Hello? I've, wait, oh, here's, oh, here's some people. Um, who are you? I don't know. We'll go, we'll invite Bess, I guess. Uh, I'm terrified, but that's fine. Yeah, everyone's ask, giving me their number so I can invite them to the housewarming party. Alright. Let's see. I don't know. You can do a video call now? That's interesting. Are you gonna go... What are you doing? What? Who's yelling? What are you doing? Why are you yelling at me? Why is everyone so mean? I just need to introduce myself to one more person. Come on now. Oh, now Bess is on a bike. Are you for real? Oh wait, okay. You're over here. Let me just, let me just teleport. Wait, can I not teleport? Teleport here. Alright. Friendly introduction. There we go. Oh, Rory's calling me. Hold on, Rory. Let me just introduce myself. Okay. This town is so much larger than your neighborhood. You should go exploring. If you want to new meet new people, the gym or the bar are great places to check out. If you want some company, let me know and I'll tag along. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks, Rory. Okay. Oh, and wow, that's good timing. It's just telling you to travel to a gym or bar. Optional invite someone to travel. Uh, hey, I mean, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to travel to the bar then, and I'll invite Rory to come with me, since Rory just messaged and was like, hey, uh, you should go to a gym or bar. <laughs> was that was that on purpose? or was, That's weird. Because huh. that seems like a feature of the pack. All right, we're going to go to the bar, and we're going to invite Rory. Yeah, I don't know if the calls are from the scenario or if... Because it seems like something that would be from the pack, you know? Because it was Rory, but I don't know. Maybe it's from the scenario. So did I complete... All right, I did that. So now... Oh, go... Wait. <laughs> Everything is optional except for going home. So, like, you could just not do any of that and just go... <laughs> okay. All right, um, all right, I'm going to change into my party outfit, I guess. I'm still terrified of the dark, so that's fun. Um, outfit. What is my party outfit? That's interesting, at least. Is it a good one? Um, okay, that, yeah, I don't, we'll see. Wait, is Rory leaving? Where are you going? Oh, okay, that, uh, it's, I mean, the makeup is all right. It's pretty good. Um... <laughs> Now I wonder if this, so that would happen in any neighborhood you chose to do this in. Yeah, it would be interesting to see, like, how the different neighborhoods affect stuff. Um, oh, no, you had to deal with a starving cat. Oh, no. I'm glad the cat got fed. <laughs> he was used to his usual eating place, so was confused because I had to put it in the kitchen, even though he was there with me when I put it in. Oh, because he's scared of the baby who always tries to get him. Oh, no, does the baby try to, like... Yeah, sometimes babies don't know how to... Uh, interact with the cats. <laughs> oh. That is also how I handle social situations. Oh, just showing up and then going home? Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I mean, okay. Do, should we do anything with, um, let's just go scream incoherently at Rory. <laughs> and then we could introduce ourselves to Lilith. That could be fun. We could just have, like, every occult type. At this party. Um, hey Lilith, do you want to um, be friends? Oh yeah, you're running away now. Okay. Well. Oh good, I'm, I'm confident. Oh. 
Well, that was easy. Wait, what? I became confident from the new intent. Hey, at least they added a moodlet for the scenario. So <laughs> I became confident from the new in town scenario because of my outfit. And that made me not scared of the dark anymore. <laughs> so that's okay. All right, then. Um, so I wonder if, oh, okay. So, hmm. So, but like, why are all of these things optional? Like, I get it, but also like, What's the point of the scenario if all you had to do was go and go home and you don't even have to do any of these things? Like, I feel like they could at least do it like an event, you know, where you could get like a gold star on it or something, or like a gold medal and get a reward. See, that would be a cool way to do it. Hmm. All right. Successfully use romantic interaction. I don't know. I mean, do, do you want to be romantic with someone who, um... Um, I don't, I don't actually, do you want to be romantic? I wasn't really planning on it. Um, dance to stereo music, order a drink. All right, we can do a few of those. Let's go order a drink. Oh, it's not, um, what's her name? Celine. Order a drink. Let's order, uh, we could order drinks for groups. That could be fun. I don't know what we'd order, though. Um, let's order a root beer float for everyone in our group. I don't actually know if, if that's just me and Rory or, um, you don't really need a moodless solver at this point, I don't think. Well, we are hungry, but we're about to get a drink. <clears throat> and then we can dance to the stereo. Alright, we're gonna get a drink. And chat with Rory. Open that. I mean, there's our root beer float, so you're gonna go get it? Drink. Oh, I took, oops, I was gonna take Rory's too. Oh no, oh no, I took them both. Oh, I'm sorry, Rory. <laughs> I took both of the drinks. Wait, where are they? Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Where'd the drinks go? I didn't even get to drink it. Hello? What is this? Mood Wait, oh! Wait, the game gave me a moodlet solver? Okay, well that's just boring. They just gave me a mood. I don't need to, like, what? I didn't even have to buy it with my points? Okay. Um, did I, I didn't even count as ordering a drink. Can I do it? What if I just do order drink? Order favorite drink, will that work? Right. My favorite drink is... What is that? Wait, what is it? Wait, wait. I want to see what it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, is Rory... No. What is it? Granite Falls Grappo Blanco. Alright. Interesting. What is this? Have a drink. I'm literally having a drink right now. Do I have to finish it for that to count? Hello? Did that not- I literally just had a drink. What do you mean? Oh, here's a cat. Oh, it's Katarina Lynx. Hi. I'll get to know you. You could come to my party, too. Okay. Um, dance to stereo music. I guess I'll do that. I don't really want to be romantic with anyone. Oh! Oh no, Mochi got sprayed by a skunk? No, poor baby. I didn't even realize you were still over here. Oh, and you got a little present too. I'm so sorry. Hold on, I'll come back soon. I'm so sorry. Um, let's turn on, I don't know, um, alternative. And then we can go over here and dance together, I guess. I realized apparently, at least on YouTube, you will get a copyright claim for the stereo music, so I gotta be careful. Uh, let me change the volume, I'll turn it low. I really like the stereo music though, it's sad. Is Katarina at the occult hair hangout because she's a wear cat? I don't know, maybe. I do think the occult hangout thing, I think it also attracts um, celebrities. I think it treats celebrities as occults, which is kind of annoying. Because <laughs> I always have a lot of celebrities show up, but yeah, maybe. We have a night. For some reason, Nancy Landgrab is a knight. We have a mermaid, a celebrity, and a werecat. <laughs> Am I dancing or... Okay. 
Invite Sims to dance together, I guess. I don't want to... Oh, wait, that's Dominic. I thought it was Nancy. Um, hey, Katarina, do you want to dance with me? I have to invite more. Um, I guess I could introduce myself. Yeah, invite Dominic to dance. Sure. That's fine. Um, I don't know how many of these I want to do before I go home, but I see. Wait, what? I just... I, what? I'm so confused. Alright, we've invited people to dance, right? Is everyone dancing? Invite Simeon to dance? Alright, it's just... Wait, okay, it did work. Romantic interactions or drink... I mean, I might as well drink the Moodless Solver, I guess, since they gave me a free one. I don't know why, but it's fine. Um, I just... I don't really want to be romantic with anyone. I mean, maybe if they... Maybe if it just happened... But, okay, we drink the Moodlet Solver. Are we, are we going to? Are you going to drink it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do the romantic stuff, so I guess we're just going to go home now. <laughs> I guess. It is, like, pretty late. But all of our needs are filled now, so, like, what, <laughs> what am I going to do at home? I don't know. Maybe it'll tell me. All right, let's go home. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I should take... Oh, wait, I need to take care of my dog. I think when I, I think when I travel, I'll be able to take care of my dog. That's what I can do. Okay. All right. Where is Mochi? Okay. You're right here. Do you need a bath? Um, let me praise. Let me, um, give you a treat. And then also try to give a bath because you got sprayed by a skunk. I don't know if it'll work or not. I also need to get like, you know. A dog bowl and a bed or something. Maybe some toys. <laughs> Pets. Mm. Get a little dog bowl. And then do you want a bed? I don't there's not like a ton of room for one. But here you go. It's not like we're gonna be sleeping in here. Um, there you go. <laughs> and then, like, a toy would be nice. Maybe a ball. Alright, there you go. Oh yeah, I haven't done any Harvest Fest things. I guess I could. Hmm. The main thing is just, like, talking to the gnomes, honestly. I don't really want to decorate. But I could appease the gnome with, um, a future cube, maybe? I'm feeling very confident from drinking... Okay. Oh, I'm getting a call from Christopher. Oh. Wait, what? Hey, Farah, I hear you've met a lot of people already. A great way to turn these acquaintances into friends is improving your social skills. Work on your charisma, comedy, and mischief skills, and you'll be the most popular sim in town before you know it. Is this from a scenario? I feel like, I mean, I've never seen that before. Let me see. Tell me more about social skills. Is this like... I guess this is, this is sort of like a tutorial almost. I mean, there's already a tutorial in the game, but... So it's, saying, it's talking about comedy, mischief, and the most important social skill is charisma. Yeah, I know that. Charisma is a is pretty big deal. Um, okay. Alright, I get maybe that's from the scenario then? Interesting. We're giving your dog a bath. <laughs> that's gotta be the scenario? Yeah, I've never seen that before. So it's like, it does almost feel like these are meant to be tutorial type things for like, very new players to the game. Which I feel like a lot of scenarios have felt that way. Because they're like just sort of normal ways that people play the game. We also have new stuff to do now. Um. Alright. So yeah. So comedy, mischief, charisma. Okay. So yeah. That's definitely related to the scenario. Because now it's reached level 2 in each of these. I mean we could try doing that tonight. And then have friends over and stuff tomorrow and invite their and visit their re residents all right this this really this feels a lot like the tutorial though like <laughs> well it does not feel like something that would be super 
interesting if you've played the game before because like this is just how you play the sims like like this is, these are the things to do in the sims you know <laughs> you know if you're talking about being social it's kind of interesting it uses a pre-made save file well yeah oh yeah so it, ra it randomly picks any sims in there yeah i don't hmm yeah, I guess it, like, I'm guessing, so I'm guessing the reason it chose, like, Rory and Christopher is because they were some of the first people I met. So that's probably why, but I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if, like, any of the Sims that aren't, like, pre-made, you know, like, the randomly generated ones, if any of them message me or anything. Did we do the appease the gnome? We're not going to have a good um, harvest fest, but, you know. All right, we've done that. Um, and then I'm just gonna end the holiday. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, okay. I don't, I don't feel too bad about it. Um, oh yeah, there's a little bit sad from the awful holiday. That's fine. I'm gonna sell the gnomes, though. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I mean, we have this microphone, so might as well try to, yeah, so we'll practice, oh wait, what can we do? Um, tell jokes. That's for mischief. Wait, no, that's for... Wait, that should be for comedy. Um, mischief. Uh, I might not worry about mischief, but charisma I can just do in the mirror. Oh, no, my dog needs to pee. Wait, can you go potty then? Hold on, then I'll tell more jokes. Right, go out, go to the potty. All right, and then I can practice speech. That should get my charisma skill up. And I'm just gonna fast forward. Oh, my dog pooped in the yard. Awesome. <laughs> throw that away. <laughs> oh, now you're playing in your own pee. Come on, I just gave you a bath, dude. Uh, you are a troublemaker. <laughs> All right, I'll mop that. Oh, I can't mop outside. That's fair enough. You're gonna. You're now. You're drinking from your pee. Great. Right. That's fine. I'm about to get level two of comedy. Awesome. Okay, we did that. Oh, my dog's sleeping now. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just get to level two of this and then we'll go to sleep. And then we'll go talk to neighbors and stuff. I do feel bad not focusing on my dog, but like the scenario is not about my dog. <laughs> it's about, you know. Mm. Oh, my pet's obsessed with the fridge, apparently. Okay, we've gotten level two charisma. You can sleep now. Um, hug. Oh, okay. Pet and play. And then I'm going to go sleep. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of. Not even all that tired, honestly, because I had that Phil Needs potion. Oh, buy observant reward trait. Okay. Yeah, this is... This feels a lot... Wait. Oh, that's where the word store is now. This feels a lot like a tutorial. Alright, I'll buy the observant reward trait, I guess. Cool. I'm surprised they didn't just give it to me. Um, oh, there's voting. So we could do voting. Vote on neighborhood action plans. I don't like, like, not knowing when this will end, you know? Like, it just keeps going on to more and more things. Like, how when will this end? Also, like, how do I get the different outcomes? I don't know. I, mean, I guess maybe the different outcomes are based on which of the optional things you do. Alright, now the calendar has a bunch of stuff. You have a bit of hope. Oh, yeah, I was going to vote for stuff. Um, is there any, like, social things? Free love? <laughs> I mean, it would be one way to go. Um, I don't know. Fun-loving community? Oh, that could be good. It's comedy and mischief and stuff. Alright, let's come and get some leftovers and go to the bathroom. I guess I could shower too. Um, 
And then we can go out and meet. Oh, wait, I need to invite a sim to my house. I guess I could do. Should I do that first? I'll visit a neighbor's residence first. I'll go visit the uh, Christopher's household. I don't know where my dog went. Oh, wait, wait, Lily's here. Wait, what? Oh, the welcome wagon is here finally. Okay, well, all right. Wait, does Katrina Kelly. Are you my name? Katrina Volk? They move fast. <laughs> Dang. I'm sorry. Are you married to Christopher? Oh my god. Five children? Oh, I forgot I had been playing in this save for a little bit. Yeah, I've been playing here for like a week and a half. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit less concerning, but wow. Okay. So I wanted to see. I don't know. Okay. Cool, you have five children and you're married to Christopher Volkov, I guess. Well, come in. Um, yeah. Come in. I guess. I'm showering, but that's fine. Does this count as inviting a sim to your house? No, apparently not. Alright, you you can you can stop. You're good. Okay. Come on in. Is Christopher not kind? It's just y'all two? Alright. I guess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and invite someone over. Because... I need to do that. I will invite oh. Katrina, Katarina, not Katrina. <laughs> I'll invite Katarina. All right. Well, there you go. We've done that. Have friends. All right. Y'all are gonna be my friends now. Wait, I haven't even met you yet. Um. Thanks for coming. Oh. Oh. So this is okay. So Lilith is another person I met. Hey, Far, it was really nice running into you at the bar. If you want to grab some drinks later, just give me a call. I'll never say no to a good salty llama. Okay. This this really feels like a... This really feels like a tutorial. Like, this is... Oh, flirt. Um, I don't know about flirting. I mean, she's literally married to Christopher. Maybe with Katarina. Um, okay, here comes Christopher. And there's that fruitcake. Hello. Um, I do need to get, uh, I mean, I don't need to get, but I could get level two mischief skill. Um, invite to fake party. Sure. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, Right. We'll just, um, I need, yeah, I need three friends, so we'll just, I don't know, keep talking till I get some friends, I guess. Gossip about neighbors, that sounds like a good idea while they're right here. I have acquired the mischief skill. Um, what's that spot? I don't know. Oh, she's angry now. <laughs> Probably not a great way to make friends. Um, oops. My bad. Sorry about that. There, oh, he's telling me about becoming a werewolf. Okay. Can I just, like, I just want some friends, you know? Um, I just need three friends. I'm not gonna flirt. That seems like a bad idea. Um, talk about art. Um, ask about pronouns. Could show off my pet. Show off pet. Okay, I have one friend. Wait, who's my friend? Is that Lily? You're probably. Okay, well then let's become friends with Christopher too. Oh, she just gave Christopher a gift. That was cool. Um, thanks for coming. Oh, Gita Rasoya is a ghost. Okay, ghost Gita Rasoya is calling to inform me that my whatever has left me a vast fortune. I'm just going to say under what conditions, get a little bit of money. Um, 
It definitely is trying to teach you basic things, but it's nice that the calls you get from Sims actually feel relevant in this. That's true. Instead of just, hey, Rando, I just met. I should be friends with this other person, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, like, random person I met at the bar. Should I be friends with this other person you don't know? Like, um, go for it, I guess. Yeah, that's true. At least they, like, feel a little bit relevant. Why am I just, like, standing out in the hall away from everyone? Like, are you good? Oh, you're trying to show off pet. Okay. Um, Christopher. Complain about wind. Sure. Can we, like, become friends now, please? Oh, there's a new person here. Hello. Wait, where, where are you here? Hello? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Wait, where's that? Are y'all leaving? Wait, oh, the, the welcome login must be over. Wait. No, you can't leave. Hold on. Hold on, let me do some, let me take pictures with you so that we're friends. Let's take photos with, oh, wait, what? Can I, or take a photo of? <laughs> it's because they're all leaving, isn't it? Dang it. Fine, we'll take a photo of Naoki. We'll be friends. <laughs> Can I not ask, let me ask Christopher to hang out. Maybe then I can take a picture. I mean, we should be close to becoming friends anyways. And I'm not going to do a bold... Why do they keep wanting me to be flirty? Yeah, we're good friends with Lily. Um, okay. Are we going to ever invite Naoki in, or...? <laughs> like, I don't even know how we... Like, I didn't even mean to like know him but it's fine okay good we have three friends well wait according to this we have three friends why does this not think i have three friends that's rude whoa oh i said i was gonna take a picture of naoki but what if i don't and just take a picture of christopher instead i don't even know where naoki is is he like out the door i literally can't even see okay well i'm gonna take pictures of christopher instead uh Great, now I'm friends with Naoki from taking pictures of Christopher. That makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna leave now and go to um, a neighbor's residence. So I guess Christopher's house. <laughs> and then we'll see what else pops up. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how many kids they have. Oh my god. Yeah, this is just like, man, I'm glad this wasn't a save I was like doing anything important with. That would be so annoying if it just like popped you down in your last save. But yeah, um, Katrina is apparently married to Christopher, and they have three kids, Misty, Solomon, and Judy. So that's fun. Only Judy's a werewolf, though. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna come visit you, I guess. Um, let me bring Christopher with me, because otherwise it'd be kind of weird. Okay. Oh. Answer. Far, far as friend will give her a call soon. Okay. I I visited a neighbor's residence. What do you mean? I'm here. Hello? Do I have to do it again? Oh my god. Look at the little baby. Oh. There's our call. Okay. Oh. Okay. I can't believe you just moved here, Farah. You've already made so many friends. I'd love to meet some of them. Want to do a group hangout downtown? Or is there someone you would like to spend some alone time with? Yeah, no, I don't need to ask anyone out. But a hangout downtown sounds great. Okay, I like that for this one, they're actually giving you options. Because, um, like, a lot of the ones, the other ones are like, oh, you have different in ways to end the scenario. But this one's, like, actually giving them to you. Little Judy does not seem to like me. You know, you're cute, though. Hi. <laughs> you have your mom's red hair. <laughs> All right, it says visit neighbor's resident. But then, but she said a hangout downtown. To try getting in a confident mood, what? Okay, but why does it say visit neighbor's residence? Do I have to go to a different neighbor's residence now? I don't have any other neighbors. No one else lives here. Um. They said downtown. Where is, like, in the big city or, like, um... 
Who else have we met? We met Simeon, but I don't know if Simeon, like, lives anywhere. Oh, Wolfgang lives over here. Okay, we'll come meet Wolfgang then. Um, sure. And then we'll bring Lily too, I guess? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, maybe bringing him messed that up? Like, maybe it wanted you to knock? Oh, maybe. Wait, do you not have to knock if you bring someone who lives there? I never thought about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, there it is. Knock on door. You're so right. I, so if you bring someone who lives there, you don't have to knock? I never noticed that, but that makes sense. Huh. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because now the next thing is knock on door. All right, let's knock on Wolfgang's door, I guess. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you're traveling with someone, you wouldn't have to knock on their door. I never knew, realized that was, like, a thing. It looks like nobody's home. What? What? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I knocked on the door, but no one's here. What do you mean? Okay. All right, I'm going to travel again, but this time I'm not going to take them, I guess. And I'm going to try to go to their house. I don't know. Let me see if this will work. Don't take anybody with me. All right, let's try that. Oh, my gosh. All right, now can I knock on the door? Yeah, that, that was interesting. So now I actually can knock on the door. All right, hopefully this will work. I mean, clearly there are people here. Oh, and Katrina just went off to work. All right, did it work? There we go. Okay, now we have new stuff again. Optional make a good friend. Optional psych self up. Invite Sims to hang out at venue. All right, do they all have a mirror I could use? to psych myself up. Do they? Oh, there's a mirror in here. Okay, I'm gonna come psych myself up then. I don't really want to go through the the stuff of having to make a good friend. I mean, how close are we? We also need to introduce ourselves to one more sim, so I might do that. Oh, we're pretty good friends with Lily. I could keep, like, talking to Lily. Um, is there someone else here I could introduce myself to? Like, even one of the kids? Like, can I come introduce myself? Oh, I already know you. Dang it. Well, we can always do that at the venue. I don't know what venue. It just says at venue. Um, we can always go... Wait, does the library count, I wonder? Eh, it might work. We'll see. Alright, is Lily even here? Hey, Lily, um, do you want to, do you want to come here? <laughs> Why are you not at your house? Mm, I don't think anyone else is home. Oh, there you go. Here's Lily. Oh, there's a new, there's a kid. Oh, wait, this is, oh, wait, did you just age up or were you already a kid? Okay. Oh, that is cute though. Look at them hugging. Oh, Wait, I want to come introduce myself to you. So I, I can introduce myself to another person. Oh! Simeon's silver sweater saying Lily's pretty cool. Mm hmm I'm still just sitting in the bathroom. Um, maybe we could go outside, you know? Oh, the Festival of Light started. Maybe we could go to the Festival of Light. Will that count as a venue? We could do that. I don't know. Where do you have to go for it? Near Hanamigawa Koen. I'll see if I can get there. I can travel there. That could be fun. Why are we all in the bathroom? That's weird. Are we not good friends with Lily yet? Yeah, it says we're good friends. Alright, I'm just gonna cheat that one. We already have a good friend. Wait, oh, right, this is new. I can't cheat it with <laughs> I can't use UI cheats extension to to cheat this because this is new. Alright, that's fine. I don't wanna make another good friend. Alright. We're gonna try to travel to the- f oh wait, oh it did work now, okay. Alright, we're gonna try to travel to the Festival of Light together. Um, let's go. So it's gonna be in Mount Kamarebi. And it says near- yeah, so it's near this park. So can we go- I'm gonna go to the bar and hopefully that'll count as like a venue. 
And should I bring like other people? I'll bring Rory too. Um, we can bring Katarina. Did that not work? Invite at least one sim. But I, I, I did. I, we're at a venue. What do you mean? Oh, there's fireworks. Okay, that's weird. Um. All right. I mean, I didn't. I invited sims to hang out at the venue. Do I need to like invite someone else? Invite to hang out at current lot. Will that work? This is downtown hangout. Okay, we could play cards. I forget there's cards here. Um, order drinks for group. Oh, there's not even a mixologist. Hello? <laughs> okay, I don't really know what to do then. Um, you could come and get some food, maybe? Order food. Let's get bean taiyaki. I want to order drinks for group, but there's no one at the bar. Oh, there's Yamachan. Hello. Could also make a wish. That could be fun. Make a wish with Rory. I don't know what my wish is going to be, but. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I guess it, yeah, it doesn't really say what the wish is or anything. Interesting. Why is this not working? We did invite a sim such as a lounge or a nightclub. Maybe I have to do specifically a lounge or nightclub. Order drinks for group. Can I do that? There's no one here. All right, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else. So I'm gonna just invite like one sim and see if it works at a lounge or nightclub. This is a lounge, right? Lounge. Um, I'm just gonna invite Rory. Okay, and <laughs> then now it's just go home. <laughs> All right. Well, I can order drinks for group, I guess. Um, order drinks for group. There you go. Um, a, you can have, there's protein shakes in this game. Virgin Capring. Oh, cool. It's a national drink of Brazil. Interesting. All right, sure. Let's have that. Why not? All right, I've done that. All right. We'll just go have your drink and then we'll go home. Because, <laughs> yep, yeah, that's it. We've, we've done everything. Cool. Who's that? Neo Gala. Oh, here, let's talk to Tina. Oh, and Morgan Ember's here too. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll meet some people. Meet someone in three different locations, I mean. <laughs> I'm working on it. Mm. Oh, Kiyoshi Ito? He's a teen and he's a mixologist? Interesting. Alright, um, can we meet someone? Let's, let's meet Megumi. Oh, we can, she's a, okay. We'll meet Jeffrey Landgrab. Sounds great. <laughs> are they, are Megumi and Jeffrey here together? Or is this just, they just happen to sit together? <laughs> okay. Can you meet someone? Chinosa. Lots of Zarde. Here, come meet Magnus. It's like kind of laggy, which is annoying. Alright, okay, we did that. Alright, I'm gonna go home now. Good night. Magnus is a hot headed loner and bookworm. Good to know. Alright. 
why don't you just go home and then it's probably gonna tell me to do more stuff I, I really wish it would I knew like where the end of this was gonna be because I don't really like like not knowing what all I have to do wait I went home. okay oh I'm getting a phone call okay um, people are so excited about your house. Little, like, dudes, I haven't even said I'm hosting a house morning party. Oh, okay. It says, you are throwing one, right? I've hosted one or two myself. Do you want some expert party planning tips? I guess. Sure. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Here, why don't you take care of your needs and then... And not while I read this. <laughs> All right. What kind of housewarming party is right for you? If a night of dancing and drinks is your thing, I suggest a house party. If you're looking for something more intimate, a dinner party is a perfect choice. As long as you can cook a meal without burning your new house down. Preparations aren't necessary, but a little goes a long way. You'd play some nice music, clean the dishes, and freshen up. Is your home missing anything? Perhaps a bar to serve drinks? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Buy a stereo, buy a bar, cook a group meal, start a house or din dinner party. Alright can do that. I probably won't do a dinner party because you have to like cook a bunch. Um, but I can do that. I'll clean up the dishes, you know. It's like, I get, that is interesting. It's like they're turning the welcome wagon into like, alright, now you host a party. <laughs> we do still have some fruitcake left out, so that could be useful. I feel bad I haven't been giving our dog very much attention, though. Alright. Buy a stereo. I can do that. I'll buy a stereo. I'll buy a bar. Um, stereo. Just gonna like. I wanted to put it up there, but oh, I can put it here. Okay. Um, a bar. Let's do like a little outdoor bar. Okay, and then what was the other thing? Oh yeah, make a gr group meal. I'm probably not going to do that. Sorry, I cannot be bothered. And then start a house or dinner party. So I think I'll do a house party. Oh, Mochi's sleeping. Okay. Alright, uh, luckily we do like fruitcake, so that's good. Alright, yeah, do the dishes. And then, I mean, it's 8. It's 8 a.m., but, um, might as well go ahead and start a house party, right? Alright, so from the phone, we do... Is it home? No. Is it social? Plan a social event. Okay. Um, okay, let's do a house party then. And host is me. Guests. We have a lot of people to invite at least. I mean, I guess this is good if you want to start your sim with like some connections, you know? Um, get them to like actually meet people. It could be useful. We'll invite Wolfgang. We'll invite Simeon. We'll invite Tina Tinker. Sure, we'll invite all these people. Should I invite Agnes Crumplebottom too? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to hire a mixologist? I mean, might as well. A caterer? Sure. Why not? Let's hire a caterer. An entertainer? Well, we don't have like a piano or anything for the. Oh, we do have a microphone. Okay. I don't need this money for anything. Let's hire everything. Go for it. And then where are we going to do it? At right here. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, so now we just complete the party. Optional, kiss someone. Optional, woohoo with someone. All right, we'll see. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, complete the party. Main goal, host, socialize with guests, have Sims listen to the stare at the same time, flirt. Well, it does want me to flirt. All right, we'll see. I kind of, oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Lily is um, rampaging, so that's not good. I was thinking about flirting with uh, Katarina. Let's... Think for coming. Everyone's going to be scared of the werewolf, so that's not ideal. Yeah, that's really not ideal, um, Lily. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, 
Let's do a bold pickup line. Why not? Sure. If the thing wants me to flirt, whatever. I'll flirt. Um, I don't know if we're gonna woohoo, but compliment outfit. Um, romance flirt. Let me turn on the radio. Let's turn on. I don't know. Mixed music. Apparently, that's a new one. Oh, Lilith Vitor is also here. Hello. Well, thank you for coming, even though you're on my computer. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> Agnes. Gr well, she's in the bathroom, so maybe she won't. Well, I think in I think in The Sims 4, she only hits you if you flirt with her. Oh, my God. What the heck? Our, our mixologist just fell through the bar. Is this from, like, Fear from the Werewolves or something? Because I see this happen a lot in Moon Moon Mill. Well, that's not good. Alright, who's here in their night outfit? Simeon silver sweater, for some reason. Here's our caterer. <laughs> I feel like that's a good use for scenarios, putting existing sims in a save, or sims you want in a save in a specific scenario. Yeah, I just wish it would let you, like, pick the save instead of your most recent one. That's annoying. I'm not sure, like, the ones that are completely enclosed and once you're done with them, the sims just don't get to exist anymore. Are there ones like that? I feel like the sims, like, you can keep them in a save. Um, like, you can choose to have them in an existing save. I think all of the sims continue to exist, but I don't know. Um, oh, I, I don't, did I invite Tina? I don't even remember. Um, okay. I am supposed to flirt, so. Um. Cozy up. Where's the bonfire? I don't know. Sure. I don't know where the bonfire is. What are y'all doing? Okay. Oh, they're petting my dog. <laughs> Entertainers need a piano. Yeah, well. Alright. It's a little chaotic. I did invite, like, every occult type, so I guess that's fair enough. Now I'm walking through a wall. Oh, no. I'm trying to run away with the winged llama, so that's great. Am I- am I collapsing? Oh, no. I have the collapsing- I've never seen, like, a my sim do that. I've seen some- is this, like, a glitch? Look at that. It has a little- that thing where they haven't put in a, a thing- like, is this, like, a feature from the werewolf pack they didn't, like, flesh out fully? Because I just fainted. That doesn't seem like the recipe for a very successful party. I guess for the scenario I don't have to have a very successful party. Um, but, wow. <laughs> Okay. Cool. <laughs> I just fainted. <laughs> you thought that's how it worked. See. Crumble Bottom death hits other Sims kissing her too in Sims 4. Oh, okay. She beat up Caleb many times. Oh, in the original scenarios, they stopped existing. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'm like passed out on the floor. Can I get up? I can. That's weird. This seems like a, a feature they just like forgot about. Oh, and someone, oh my god, why is everyone passing out? This really, yeah, they, I think that they, like, started to make this feature and then just forgot about it because random sims will just pass out for no reason in Moonwood Mill. That is so weird. Where even is Katarina? Is Katarina still here? I was going to flirt with her again. Oh, she's outside, passed out, of course. Right. Wait, there's a ghost? Who are you? Thomas Jabbar. You're my entertainer. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um, who am I going to flirt with? You know what? Let's flirt with Lilith Vitor. Why not? Let's see if Agnes does anything about it. <laughs> Agnes is just dancing to the- Oh, we are supposed to have some- Oh, we're supposed to have them listen to the scenario- This staring at the same time. Oh no, and Lily's rampant. Oh, and the entertainer just fell over. Oh my god. Why is- all of the people I hired are fainted. What the heck? This, no, this has to be a bug or something. There's no way it's supposed to happen like that. Uh-uh. Oh my god. And now Lilith is terrified. This is great. This is great. Lil Lily is, is attacking everyone. Alright. Um. Can I just, hey, Lilith, you wanna, um, flirt and stuff? Try to console, sure. Because you are terrified. Oh, and now, okay. 
Now we're okay, Rory, I don't mm -hmm. um, Oh, and we're scared. Oh oh and Rory is also rampaging. Is it a full it's not even a full moon. Oh my god. Oh wait, are you unrampaging, Rory? I think Rory's unrampaging. Oh dear. Um cool. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, and now people are waking up, so that's good, I guess. Oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna eat food. Uh, I don't know who I should kiss, honestly, at this point. Um, we, we, we need to have three sims. How many sims am I supposed to kiss? Or other sims supposed to kiss? I should have got the free love neighborhood action plan, man. Alright, let's... Can we listen? I don't know... I don't know how to get other sims to listen to the music. I don't think I can do that. Have other sims listen to scenario. Hey, at least I got gold. <laughs> The fainting happened in the official werewolf live stream. Okay, did they ever say why? Like, did they ever, like, was there, because there's been no, like, lore explanation. Because it's not like, like, maybe it's supposed to be fainting from fear, but it doesn't, like, say that. They just, like, pass out and they pass through whatever is there, you know? Like, it's kind of weird. Okay, are you listening? I think Simeon is listening. Can I have someone else? Oh, wait, are you also listening? Come on, let's listen. Listen to the music. No, you're dancing. Oh. Yep, you're transforming. I don't- I hate how there's stuff like this that you can only do if you have a lot of people in your household, right? Like, how do I get other sims to listen to the radio? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I probably- like, can I turn the volume down? I don't want to get copyright claimed or whatever. Um... Wow, this is a this is kind of a mess of a housewarming party, to be honest. Are you still? Lily is still upset. Lily, are you okay? I wonder what her traits are that make her so ragey. Oh no! I see. I want to. I need to kiss some Sims, but I feel like they're just gonna be mad at me. All right, let me tell my dog to go potty. Hold on. Um, how do I tell you to go potty? I got asked to go potty. Eat cake. Well, there is cake now, so that's good. Um, yeah, it is we it's weird there's no, like, real moodlet for the fainting. I don't know. Alright. It seems like most people who fainted are up back now. A lot of people dancing to the stereo, but not really listening to it. Um, oh, wait. I don't need to eat that anymore. I need to eat cake now. Oh, Lily is a werewolf menace, so that's fun. Um, let's call Tamil so everyone comes and eats some cake, maybe. Right. Here's our- <laughs> This is- My house is way too small for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, have Sims kiss. What? Am I supposed to get other people to kiss? I don't think I can do that. Um, I like, I don't- They don't seem to normally autonomously kiss without the free love action plan. Alright, everyone's getting cake now, so that's good. Lilith is just trying to run everywhere. Um, well, I can't really get them to listen to the stereo, so might as well try to get them to kiss. Can I come kiss Katarina? I don't think we have a good enough romance yet. Still haven't had, um, Agnes Crumplebottom, like, attack us. She's just upset about the trash outside, though. <laughs> um, ask risque question. Ask about woohoo interests, I guess. Oh yeah, was there anything here I was supposed to do? Yeah, optional kiss someone, woohoo with someone. Okay. Um. I don't know, how do I kiss you? Oh, uh oh. Our, our romance went down. Did you. Man, Lilith is just like teleporting everywhere. <laughs> We're definitely not close enough for me to share my preferences with you? Okay, dang. I don't know if the bold pickup line is working or not. <laughs> I guess so. We still. Can we kiss? And Lilith, I, I don't know if Lilith is getting upset about this or not. Um, 
first kiss. There we go. All right, let's do our first kiss, I guess. Party's about to be over, but let's see if we can get that done. Hello? Oh, we're going... Are you going to sit down? How are you going to do first kiss like this? What? Wait, it went away. Oh, is it because of Lilith? Wait, I want to do my first kiss. Okay. Whoa. All right, scenario completed, I guess. Interesting. Farah really knows how to make an entrance. Sims all over town are eagerly looking forward to her next party. Really? Because that was kind of a mess. Um, so I got the Inspired Explorer trait. Inspired Explorers have an easier time building relationships and skills while outside their home neighborhood. Okay. That's kind of cool. So it's like, a, I guess it's like a new trait. I was hoping they would add that. And like new traits. We also got the Seldom Sleepy trait. So the bonus, I wonder if the bonus is random or maybe it's based on, I wonder if the bonus is based on what you did during the scenario. That could be kind of cool. Um, oh, okay. And they do offer options here. So you can either save and start a new scenario or continue playing. Interesting. I guess, I mean, I still have, like, I haven't been streaming for that long. I might save and start a new scenario and try out one of the other ones. Um, it says next steps. The party is over, but Farah, ha Farah has just gotten started. She's energized by all the possibilities of her new life. Perhaps she'll become a renowned party planner, a celebrated com comedian, or a notorious prankster. Will she find true love, break hearts all over town, or dance the night away with her best friends? All of the above? The next chapter in her story is yours to write. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, let's do save and start new scenario, I guess. Um, say exit to main menu, I guess. Okay, or should I wait? No, I'm gonna. S okay, I'm gonna look at everything first. Hold on. <laughs> See what all's happening. Oh my gosh, everyone's leaving, I guess, because the party's over. Um, what are our new traits we got? Inspired explorer and seldom sleeping. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really. I don't know. It says. What does that just say? You create a great start for your sims, but their stories are far from finished. Okay. I do like this as, like, a way to sort of get sims started in the world, you know? Like, get stories started and then have the sims in your save have a little bit more life and stuff. I don't know what's going on over here with Lilith. <laughs> we did not end up um, having any kissing happen. Our house is a mess. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go and start a new, a new scenario, I guess now. <sighs> okay, it's taking a while to save. Um, Stuck in Their Shadow. Oh, wait, is this the Sim for Stuck in Their Shadow? Wait, she's cute, though. <laughs> wait a minute. I was gonna, I was just about to say I'm gonna do the other one, but Nova Curious is kind of cute. Wait, wait, go, wait, how do I go back to where I want to see? <laughs> wait, is it my home? Yeah, look, is this Nova Curious? Okay, I'll play as you. You're cool. Um, yeah. I think I think I'll do Nova Curious and I'm gonna take a quick break though. Um maybe gayer than initially thought. I know, right? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, so I think I'll probably do that one then. But I'm gonna take a break real quick and run a little bit of an ad and then we'll start the next scenario, I guess.
All right, so I'm back. Um, maybe, maybe we can make this, this, uh, gay. I do, like, one of the story endings is quitting the rat race. So that could be interesting. We just, like, quit our job. Um, I wish, so it's Nova Curious, was one of the best programmers in college, and nothing will stop her from shining a new job. Well, someone might. Lewis, top programmer in her class, who overshadowed her during their uni years. Now that she wants to start her professional life, there's no way she'll bump into him again, again, right? So I don't think I'm gonna do enemies to lovers. Um, I, I think I think we I think we're just gonna play with Nova because um she seems cool, so <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> hmm. it, I do wonder, like, oh yeah, um, where should we? Hmm. T I mean, so it's like she's like a programmer, right? Um, I mean, Del Sol Valley, but I don't want to be, like, around a lot of, um, hmm. I don't know where to move. Where would it, I feel like none of these would really make that much sense. We could do Oasis Springs, I guess. Is there a good, a good house to live in? I guess I just need to find, like... I mean, we could also do the city. I... Mm, yeah, I know. She looks cool. That's why I wanted to play with her. Because I was like, oh, wait. Ooh, what if we live over here? Oh, no. That's not a very good apartment. Um, if we could live in, like, an apartment somewhere. Maybe. If there's any good ones. I live in a spooky one. I don't know, none of these really make much sense. I also do like Brightester maybe, but there's people living everywhere. I mean, there is, I know there is another programmer in Hinford on Bagley. Um, I love, oh, all the, the older, the, the older gay guys, they died. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Are they Ian and Moody? I think are their names. We can also go to Mount Komorebi. There seem to be like techie people here, but there's not a, oh wait, no, there's a house. All right, we can live here. Wait, how much fun, how many funds do we have? Oh, we have 30,000. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, we'll move into, we'll move into Mount Komorebi. Sure. Hi, Clem Shark. Welcome. <laughs> we're, we're trying out some of the new Sims 4 scenarios. Um, and at first glance, they all appear pretty straight. But this Sim does not look straight to me. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, it says, Nova Curious. Okay, yeah, we already did this. She's one of the biggest programmers in college. Blah blah, and I'm turning to Lewis again. Like, I it's weird. Like, are they gonna address the sexism angle here? Like, we have a woman trying to do well in tech, and her rival is this guy from college. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah. All right, we'll do this. Our reward is high flyer trait. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Okay. Nova's story begins. I mean, look at the sim. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, you're so cool. Wait, hold on. I'm going to go into create a sim. Mm. I always do full edit mode whenever I go into create a sim because it's annoying to not be able to like edit stuff. Uh, there you go. <laughs> also, like her name is Nova. I mean, come on. Oh, she's cute. It's like a simple, a very simple look, but it's it's nice. All right. Wow. Oh, this uh, man. If looks could kill, <laughs> it's kind of badass. All right. Oh, I like that. Look at the little like, flat, like star pants. Um, you can kind of see the underwear through that. I feel like that's not very well made. If it's like these pants are so low rise, you can literally see the default underwear. That's probably an issue, but it's fine. Um, man, I love these tattoos. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, I actually like this sim. Alright, I got a bikini. Hot what? Yeah, that's nice. Whoever made this sim did a good job. 
And like I liked it. The I feel like the color scheme is very consistent. It's like blacks and greens and stuff. Oh, I like this a lot. I feel like this is the only one the color scheme's a little different, but I mean, I do like this shirt. Awesome. Okay. I do want... I mean, there's there's no way they did any settings. Yeah, they didn't. They... Yeah, they didn't. And I'm just like, but what if they did, you know? What if, what if they actually made a sim and, like, the sim was, like, not by default sis or something? Um... Like, come on, Nova Curious, like, come on. Come, like, you're telling me this sim is cis hat? Yeah, no. Um, anyways, likes. Oh, we have a lot of likes. Black, green, gray, and white. Yeah, that's consistent, too. Hey, maybe she's aromantic, you know? Black, green, gray, and white. Uh, I mean. Uh, music genre, likes electronica and hip-hop. Likes programming, rocket science, video gaming, cooking, and handiness. Okay, no decor. It's probably good. Um... A geek, ambitious, and a genius. Alright. No, I like you. You're cool. Okay. Now let's see about this enemy or whatever. Um, who did- Excuse me? Did you just gain romance? Y'all saw that too, right? She's had a heart above her head. But I have no relationships with any sims. Hmm. Okay. Join the tech guru career. Achieve level 4 programming skill. Do we have any programming skill? Okay, good. We have level 3. I was about to say, if you're telling me she was the best programmer in college and she has no pro programming skill, I would be very annoyed. Alright. Join the tech guru career, I guess. What are you doing? No, don't play a game right now. You can play games later. Hmm. I hope it's probably going to start us at the very bottom of the career, but I feel like it shouldn't. Um, tech guru. Right. Awesome. We're now an ace engineer. Wait, what level? Oh, okay. No, we started at level four. All right. That's awesome. Um, okay. We don't have work for three more. Wow. Okay. Well, that was bad timing. We don't have work till Tuesday. <laughs> Get promoted to project manager. Dang it. It's going to be so hard to get promoted. Alright, well, let's just fast forward. Um, achieve level 4 programming skill. Might as well. You know what? Let's get really good at programming. Um, program. Let's just practice programming first. Then we can also mod a game, though. I do. Oh, here's our call. I think we need to answer this. What, what the heck? <laughs> this is, are you calling me to bully me? What up, tuna head? What does that even mean? I heard you got a job at Rainy Days Entertainment, the same startup where I work. Re ready to be overshadowed by me again? It'll be just like in college. Don't worry. When they fire you, I'll write you a recommendation letter for a senior loser position. What? If you want to hug Lewis, just ask. What is happening? <laughs> I'm not a fan of this enemies to lovers arc thing that's trying to happen. What? If you want to... Why would you... Stop bullying me. Why did you just call me to bully me? Don't worry. We'll get to hang out all day at the office. See you there, Tuna Head. What does Tuna Head mean? What kind of insult is that? Oh, I got a moodlet. Wait, what is this? Aggravating conversation. You don't say. The romance festival's in town. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> I might go. I don't have much else to do, but, like, really? The romance festival? Um... Control my anger. Oh, that's a thing I need to do. Wait, what do I have to do? Can try interactions like taking a cold shower, calming down in the mirror. But I'm not even angry right now. I'm happy. How can I control my anger? Dang it. How am I going to even do that? Oh, wait. Maybe if I stop programming. Okay, there we go. Now I'm angry. Okay, good. Um, Control my anger. Let's do, let's take an angry poop. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna take an angry poop. Tuna head, what? Waiting for the elaborate lore reveal for that nickname? I know, right? Like, what? I'm kinda, is it, like, is I, I don't understand. <laughs> they have, like, a whole bullying backstory? Like, how is this gonna be handled? This is weird. Yeah, we dislike him. I mean, fair enough. Luis Sancho. Hmm. All right. Oh, we ha oh we have a bunch of stuff. Whoa, we have a bunch of like bonus trade stuff. Oh my gosh. 
So she's mentally gifted, happy toddler, has connections, entrepreneurial, and a quick learner. Okay, well that'll be helpful, I guess, for doing well in the career. Um, alright. Did I not? Was the angry poop not enough? I didn't angry poop. What do you want from me? Alright, take a cold shower. Or do, will it just count? Oh, I, it's probably going to say I've controlled my anger just whenever it goes away by itself, honestly. Alright, we'll also try to calm down, I guess. I don't care. Um, get promoted to project manager. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can get promoted. Are there... Okay, we do need to reach level 4 programming skill, but we have 3 days, so... Um, hit him back with, I would logic bomb you, but that would require you to be logical. And then MV Lewis Dev Null. I don't know what that means. What would that do? <laughs> is this is this a, a nerdy um, comeback? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go to the romance festival. I feel like this is a bad idea. This is really leaning into the uh, enemies to lovers thing. Like, what if I see him there? Um, but I don't have anything else to do. So, this game. Maybe she can find someone else for it to be to be a lover, <laughs> and not this asshole. <laughs> we kind of like. Ooh, it looks nice. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh, well, let's go be friends with Miko. Um, I don't really care. There's Judith Ward is here. Anyone else I want to be friends with? The heck? Is this an alien plant? An intergalactic growth pod? I've never seen that here. What? Well, I won't... Is this the... Oh, this is unidentified fruit object. I've never seen that. That's so cool. <laughs> you find some really interesting plants here. It would make him move him to the empty space in any Unix OS. Delete him, block, ignore him. <laughs> nice. Alright, well let's um, harvest the unidentified fruit object, I guess. You dislike gardening. I mean, I don't care. You can dislike gardening, but I just want you to harvest everything, though. Because it's just useful to have all these plants. Yeah, we have an unidentified fruit object. I wonder what happens if I eat it. Is it going to do something weird? I am hungry. And also still angry. Um, is there anyone else here I'd like? Not really. Is there really anyone here I'm like interested in getting to know? I guess I'll get some security. Will that help me control my anger? Here, oh yeah. This is the same save as the last one. I forgot. <laughs> we might see our sim from the last uh, scenario. <laughs> Yeah, because Katrina Volkov is still here, so that's fun. Cool. Oh, wait, I have stuff. Oh, I have a telescope? Wait, that's cool. I have a telescope and I also have a computer. Huh. I wonder why I have a telescope. Did- what? <laughs> is Christopher just being mean to his wife? What is happening? Alright. Should I paint an angry painting? I think my anger is about to go away though. Hold on. Can I- will I have time to paint an angry painting? Let's try. What is this? This is really pretty. This abstract painting? Oh, I like that. I might buy that honestly. We have enough money. Hmm. Nox is over here trying to sell paintings, of course. Yeah, there's not really anyone here I'm interested in, like, getting to know romantically, you know? You're starting an angry painting, though. Maybe you can do a flirty one. I mean, there's no point, like, this isn't part of the scenario, but... Oh, we need to become focused? Wait, I should buy this, then. Because <laughs> this painting gives you focus, so... <laughs> Might as well. I'll take it home, and then we can become focused. Uh oh, I do not want to flirt with you, dude. No, thank you. Oh my gosh, look at this! <laughs> See, this is, this is how she feels about Lewis. Actually, Lewis, I'm gonna burn your house down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, let's frame the canvas and put it in my inventory. I'm keeping that. <laughs> uh. Alright, and then let's do a flirty painting, cause why not? Why not? 
We could get to know Angela Pleasant, maybe. She seems cool. And she made that nice artwork. Look at her. She's over here. Look at this. Dude, you're doing some cool paintings. That is so cool. I want to be friends with you. Might as well do a flirty introduction. All nerds love space. There's nobody here... <laughs> There's nobody here I'm interested in getting to know romantically, said the Arrow Ace. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, I feel like, you know, I feel like Nova would be queer, you know? Like, and like, I don't, I, well, I did say she might be aromantic, actually, because of her color scheme. But I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I was coughing. I do really like Angela Pleasant's art, though. <laughs> what kind of... Wow, even the romantic paintings are heteronormative. Rude, honestly. Are there, like, are there even any gay paintings? That's just rude. Alright, let's get to know Angela Pleasant. They're like, hey, I love your art. I just bought one of them, actually. Your art's so cool. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sexy pose. Sure, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Offer rose? Okay. <laughs> oh, they are kind of cute. I kind of like this, actually. <laughs> this is like has nothing to do with the scenario at all <laughs> I've just decided that this sim is gay for women so they don't all right here yeah maybe y'all should exchange numbers actually um, exchange numbers and then you can do a first kiss. And then I'm probably going to leave, actually. I do want to buy this painting, though. Like, this is really cool. Like, I really, I actually like your work, Angela. Like, you're doing some cool art. <laughs> the other person could be a trans guy or butch. Yeah, I just, I don't like the idea. Like, I don't want, I don't want her to become lovers with the person who's bullying her. You know, like, I know that's like a trope, but like. I don't- I feel like there's a difference between enemies to lovers where, like, they were mutual enemies versus, like, someone is literally just bullying you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't- I don't want her to become friends with someone who's bullying her. I'm gonna get some food before we leave, because I'm hungry. Um, let's do- let's do some dango. Actually, you know what? It could be useful to know how to make pufferfish najiri. If, um, if, if Lewis becomes too much of a pain, we could always get rid of him. Because if you know how to cook pufferfish najiri, then... Well, we already have level 4 cooking, so it'd be kind of hard, actually. Because you have to make it poor quality to kill someone with it, but, you know, could be useful. Oh, you meant in the art that I said was this hat. Oh, that's true. But it, but it, I feel like it's implied, like, it's, like, the whole, the point of it was, like, Yeah. But yeah, I know what you mean. I get what you mean. <clears throat> Alright, well, I don't know if we'll be able to make use of this since I have level 4 cooking skill, but... I guess I could always cheat her, her cooking skill down if I really want to kill this guy. I haven't even met him yet, but I'm already, like, planning his death. <laughs> All right, cool. Finish. Oh, and it's just right on time. All right, cool. Let's go home then. Uh, where do we live again? Oh yeah, no Kamarbi. Oh, I'm not inviting you back to my house. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna sleep, and then you know we'll have plenty of time to get all our programming up and stuff. Um, because we have like two days until work. Mm, I don't know how good these beds are, but 
come to sleep. All right. Prank day. We could, oh, I love this tradition from being a geek. We could prank Lewis. I don't really want to like invite him over. We could prank him. That could be fun. I wonder if there's any like hacking pranks we could do. Like program. I don't know. I don't think any of this stuff counts as, hack as a prank. <laughs> hey bro, I totally pranked you. I hacked your trust fund. <laughs> Get pranked. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna put up this, the mathematical diagram so we can get focused. Wait, oh, did it not, wait. Does it not have focus, Zara? Huh. Maybe because I bought, that's weird though. It's supposed to give a focus, Zara. Oh, well. I don't know how to cook. What are you cooking? Cook eggs and toast, all right, that's fine. <clears throat> oh yeah, I did want you to be bad at cooking though. Oh well. A little late for that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, why? If I view it, will it make me focused? Hmm. Try browsing Simpedia on your Sims computer to get focused. Really? Um. Brow, where is that? Web. Browse Simpedia. Let's go get focused. Solve hard pro Oh, Angela Pleasant is calling. Oh! Well, this is going in an unexpected direction. Um, Angela Pleasant is asking me out on a date. Alright, sure. I guess. Set his background to a screenshot of his desktop but with icons and then watch him struggle to open things. That is a good, that is a good programming prank. <laughs> it wouldn't even require programming, really. All right, we're at the solar... Wait, what is a solar flare? Oh, okay, there's a lounge up here. All right, well, we're on a date now. That's fun. It's also prank day. Um, I guess I could prank people here. Um, let's go inside, uh, Angela, since it's raining. <laughs> this, is, this is not where this uh, scenario is supposed to go, but we're on a date with Angela Pleasant now, so... Hello. Um, reveal brilliant invention, sure. We probably should get to know each other a little bit, since we kind of, d oh no, well, okay, I, thought, I don't know why I thought, I'm just assuming everyone is that person we know. <laughs> I don't really want to prank her, but maybe I could find someone else to prank here. You can go prank Jorn. Set a runus that is admin only to be edited and it plays a really loud sound whenever he starts up the desktop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we do pranks. Oh, Angela's good. She may not like me doing pranks, but, um, instill with false confidence. And, um, what else can we do? Pretend to be slapped. Sure. <laughs> Lie about career. <laughs> Sorry I'm using our date to play pranks, but it is prank day after all. Oh, you meant run as. I, think, I was like, what is a rune as? <laughs> you meant a set of startup that's admin only. Mm. Some good pranks. I don't think I can do them in The Sims, but they're good pranks. Oh, and now I'm being slapped. It's kind of weird that that's a prank. It's like pretending to be slapped. It's like, what? Alright, right, what else are we gonna do, um, Angela? This is about a new show. Here, let me order you a drink. Order drinks for group. Um... I always do root beer float. What about... What is a coquito? Let's not do a pet concoction. 
could do a coconut. That is really expensive. What the heck? Uh, let's do a sea splash. That sounds good, right? Right. What other date stuff should we do? <coughs> Were they about to flirt autonomously? I think they might have been. Pretend to be slapped. Oh, going for the Karen approach. Is that a, is that a Karen thing? I don't know. Um, we got our drinks. Right. Yeah, I still don't have work till Tuesday, so I have plenty of time to do other stuff. You know what? It's the weekend. Why not go out? Ask to be woohoo partners. Sure. Let's ask to be. Let's see if that works. I don't know if we know each other well enough to be woohoo partners at this point. I mean, maybe Nova is a romantic. You know, maybe she just wants to be woohoo partners. Where Angela's woohoo interests. The say. Okay, women, men, whatever. I mean, that's just the default. So, are we woohoo partners or what? Oh, we are. Oh, we are woohoo partners. Okay, cool. So, um, can we woohoo? Is there somewhere to woohoo here? Doesn't seem like it. Tell pronouns. Maybe we have to go somewhere else to do woohoo. <laughs> what is this unicorn? Listen to music. Okay. Call you maybe? I mean, wait. Oh, you have to pee? Okay, I'll let you go pee. Maybe. Are you not gonna go pee? Um, I'm also going pee. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna invite Angela over. <laughs> oh, hi, Pink Pippon. Welcome. <laughs> I'm I'm playing a scenario, but I'm like not doing anything that has anything to do with the scenario. Um, my sim, this this pre-made sim that the game made, um, or like they that's part of the scenario. I she's dating Angela Pleasant now. Well, actually, they're not dating. They're just woohoo partners. I think she might be a romantic. <laughs> um, cool. Alright, yeah, you're over here. Oh, our notification wall's full. Um, so like, you want a woohoo or what? There you go. Yeah, let's just go woohoo. Might as well, right? And then tomorrow I can focus on programming. <laughs> oh, they gained a sentiment. Oh, that's cute. Growing closer from quality time. I do like that they added woohoo partners in. <laughs> oh no, she still has to pee. That maybe wasn't optimal. Oh well. Yeah, okay. And we're getting up to play on the computer. Of course, why not? <laughs> Alright. Um, well, luckily our shower and our bathroom are um, separate, so I can't take a shower while she pees. Which is helpful. Oh, she's going to sleep in our bed now. Okay. Oh, I got a, a Eureka moment. It's giving me a boost to skills. That's cool. What are you doing? No, you should go to sleep. Come, come go to sleep. All right. We had a successful prank day. Now, tomorrow, we need to actually focus on programming. That's like, you know, the point of this scenario. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually... Hmm. I forgot that I, like, I do have a thing I have to do at 3.30. I probably should not sh stream for much longer. We'll see. We'll see how far I can get. Um, alright. So, I want to become focused. So, we're going to browse some Pedia. And then keep Nova's needs satisfied. Okay, I mean, it's fair enough. But, like, 
Okay, fine. Go get that. Um, and then once you eat... Why is that optional? <laughs> we'll achieve level 4 programming skill. Does that not count? Okay, it does. Alright, let's do some programming then. Um, let's mod a game. That'll be good. Because then whenever we play that game, it'll give us increased fun. So that's good. Even the Sims team knows that games are more fun when they have mods. <laughs> oh, the bed's apparently not very good. Well. Alright, hopefully I can just like fast forward to tomorrow because we can't get promoted yet. Cool. Optional lock your laptop. <laughs> oh, I'm not even using my laptop, but um, we're gonna. I have somewhere I can put this. Should I get here? Let me just get rid of this computer then, and we'll just use the laptop. Um, I'm also gonna get a better bed. So that is not a very good bed. Um, where are all the bets? Alright, let's go with this one. Okay, good. Right, laptop. We're not focused anymore for some reason. Um, how do I lock it? Where is it? Oh, computer security settings. Lock computer for everyone but Nova. Yeah, there you go. Optional, go outside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> optional, go outside. I mean, you don't have to, but you know. If you want to go outside, I guess you can. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Are you going outside? Go. <laughs> Unwind with your hobby. Oh, is my hobby stargazing? That's cool. Okay. Oh, I didn't even have to actually do it. Alright, use telescope. Observe the sky. Let's do... This is our hobby, apparently. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Pick up telescope and return? I mean, I'm at my house, but... Okay. <laughs> I guess so. Return with... <laughs> return home. Okay. You can stop now. Oh, we're getting a call from Angela. What? Pin oh, well, okay. I mean, we are, we aren't dating. We're like, we are woohoo partners. You could date, I mean, you can date someone else. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Go for it. I've just never seen like a Sim ask that when they're like romantically involved. But I mean, hey, just because the Sims is normally monogamous doesn't mean we have to be. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Go out with Penny. Sounds good. Come on. Are you, why are you? Why are you still going? Okay. All right. Pick up. Put an in inventory, and then go here. Okay. All right. We've done all that stuff. Then, um, go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, we can't get promoted yet because we don't have work till tomorrow. But I guess we can do more programming. Program. Do we ever finish modding that game? I guess we did. Um, oh, an unknown caller. Oh, I saw what you did last week. I was there. I saw everything. You're in big trouble. I'm going to hang up. <laughs> oh, it was, what? Pretty Cho. All right. I'm going to program, um, we're going to hack. You know what? We're going to hack a trust fund. Let's go for it. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. I'm not going to go to the festival. I really do need to stop streaming soon, but I wanted to like, you know, I want to at least have one day of work in this scenario. We'll see. Because I could always finish it later. Oh, wow. Free love. Okay, apparently the free love neighborhood action plan is now in effect, so that's fun. Sorry, Angela, I don't have time to do stuff like that. Um, let's do more programming. Let's make a plug-in. 
And you also need to eat. Ooh, we have dirty dishes everywhere. Oh, I just put it in the fridge. That was probably not the best. Um, serve dinner. No, let's just do it. Oh, Lilith is here. Hello, Lilith. I'm going to have a quick meal. <laughs> what? Now you're inside. Hello. What? I did not invite you in. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to sleep now. We have work in the morning. <laughs> oh, you got a long ad. <laughs> oh, was it was it a pre-roll ad? Or because they're not there shouldn't be like ads just happening in the middle of stuff. <laughs> Hello, Maliki. Welcome. <laughs> um, okay, I'm playing this this like scenario that's the sim is like in tech and stuff and is has a rivalry with this guy um but I, so far i've mostly just had her be gay with um angela pleasant <laughs> am i on unusually early yeah a little bit um because i have i actually have a panel i'm gonna be on at 3 30 which is in like 45 minutes so i really need to stop streaming soon to be honest unfortunately <laughs> Um, but I'm trying to get to, you know, something, a good stopping point, I guess. Um, but yeah, I am, it, this is a bit early for me, for sure. Um, have a quick meal. Let's do cereal. Because, yeah, I want to, I need to make sure I get to this panel I'm on in time. It's for, like, a sexual behavior class or something? I don't know, but I was, like, they were asking people from, like, the queer student group to like be on a panel and I was like well it seems like an ace perspective might be good <laughs> sounds like quite the pleasant scenario I know because we're dating Angel pleasant um we still we don't have work for three more hours um I don't know you want to go sleep some more but yeah it does sound exciting <laughs> hopefully it'll go well I just want to like do one day of work at least all right get up time for work should probably get dressed, but I don't really care that much. Huh. Alright, off we go to work. Oh, Angela Pleasant is calling. Oh, yeah, your date with Penny Pizazz went well. That's great. Oh, and I feel flirty from that. That is cute. Um, okay. So, wait, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, work hard. No, we're not going to flirt with co-workers. That, that seems like a really bad way. Oh, God. Angela's calling again. You been thinking of getting a new job? Sure, go for it. No, I said you should... Oh, what did I... I don't know what I said. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get promoted. Angela. Oh, you got... Okay. What job did you get? An amateur entertainer. That's fun. We also have to pay our bills, apparently. All right, let's go. Just go ahead and get promoted. Yay, we did get promoted. Alright. So now complete daily task, mod game, get promoted. Okay. So far there hasn't really been much to do with um that guy. <laughs> our our rival, apparently. So you play Sims Forever to get you know, get a little bit of fun. Um, I think I'm gonna have to end this here though. I might continue this later, this scenario, just see how it goes. Um, uh, but I do have to go get ready for that panel. <laughs> so let me see. I was gonna see I guess I'll read English Simmer. She's playing the Sims right now. Um Cause yeah, I need to actually like be on time to the panel. It'd probably be probably be a good idea. But thank you all for being here to try out these new scenarios. It was fun. Um and I'll probably finish this one later. We'll see. I do like Nova. Nova is cool. I'm just waiting for them to have a like explicitly gay scenario i don't know if that will ever happen because like yeah you can make the scenarios gay but like you know these come with like pre-done stories and like there's this supposed to be this whole enemies to lovers thing with her with this guy who's like literally bullying her but whatever do we even know like yeah no. <laughs> I, I don't really know anything about him but yeah 
Um, feel free to ask me things about my Demi perspective. Okay, yeah, I will. Um, bye, Clem Shark. Bye, everybody. Oh, Lu oh, okay. Now Lewis is calling. Hold on. What? All right, hold on. <laughs> we gotta do with. Hey, no, but guess what? I got promoted too. I used my burnt bones to buy furniture and made it rain. I got lots of flash new items. You gotta spend money to make money. When I'm your manager, I'll make sure mistakes like that don't happen again. Oh my god. This guy's like for real harassing her. I'm gonna buy a better bed because he's harassing me. God damn it. Okay. Wow, he's like literally harassing me. Alright, fun. Anyways. <laughs> Bye. On that note, goodbye. <laughs>